Happy 2016, everybody. I know it's February already, um, but this is my first video of this year. I just got home from the gym, and I was like, before I hop in the shower, let me just go on here and make a quick video. I do miss doing these. I do get overwhelmed a little bit because there's so many people doing this, so I'm like, who's going to watch my videos? But I decided to go ahead and do it. I did promise myself that I was going to try to upload more often. But yeah, like I said, I just got home from the gym, um, so that's why I don't really have much makeup on or anything like that. But this is more going to be like a chill sesh, talking about my January favorites. I've never done a favorites video, usually it's just empties, but like I said, I'm going to try to post more often. So let's just jump right into it. Um, the first thing I want to tell you about is this Tree Hut Body Butter. That's what it looks like. It's in Tropical Mango, and this is my favorite fragrance i was gonna say flavor as if i eat it but um i'm sure a lot of you say the same thing um this is the tropical mango like i said and i absolutely love this scent it's my favorite tree hunt scent and i'll tell you why um usually i'll buy anything that's mango scented but you can tell that it's like an artificial mango scent this right here is like a true mango scent like if you were to go to the supermarket and get it that's what it would smell like it is a little thick it is a body butter. I usually use this uh, before I go to bed after the shower because it, it does make you a little greasy. But I feel like with um, with body butters, that's what you're going to get. I actually, isn't that the point of a body butter? It's supposed to moisturize, so it does make you a little greasy. But yeah, I highly recommend this one. And of course, Layla decided to join us. She's got something going on with her skin that's why she's wearing this thing and she's like still trying to reach places. That's why it's all like ripped up. Can you go? Go down. Go oh, lay down, Layla. She wants to say hello. She wants to say hello. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, off kisses. I'll off kisses. Okay. Okay, Layla. Mommy's making a video. Mommy's making a video. Oh, cut it out. Layla. All right. All right. Go. Next, I want to talk about two of my favorite brushes this past month. The first one is the Real Techniques Bold Collection one. It's the 100, and I think it's called the Angled Powder Brush or All Over Powder Brush. And when I first got it, I wasn't a big fan of it, just like with the rest of them. I felt like they were overpriced, and they are gorgeous, but... um. At first, I couldn't figure out where to use them. And, and now that I've had time to play around with them, I love almost all of the ones that I have so far. So I highly recommend this one. This is perfect for contouring and all over uh, bronzing. It It's more for like a soft contour when like an everyday. If you want like a fucking sharp ass contour, this is not the brush for you. I mean, you could probably, you know, work it up. But there are a lot of other contour ones. Actually, I think the Bold Collections does have a contour one. And the awesome part is, even though they are overpriced, um, Ulta is always having buy one, get one 50% off. And on occasion, they have the buy one, get one free. So that's, I, I recommend that next time they have a deal like that, you go and pick yourself up some of these bad boys. By the way, this is my current vanity. That's what it looks like, my setup right now. Um, it's not a forever setup. We just haven't had any time to renovate this house yet. And I'm, I'm hoping that I'm going to have my own beauty room as soon as we do. So this is just temporary. The next brush I want to talk about, I got off of eBay. And it looks like this. It's super tiny. It's like the size of my palm without the fingers. As you can see that. And it's thick it's super dense the bristles and this is my favorite foundation brush of all time i have the it cosmetics one i have a real techniques one and i have not put this one down since i bought it i'll go and wash it before i use any of the other ones and the best part about it is it was only two or three dollars and that's it free shipping too so that is awesome i highly recommend everybody goes to pick this up it does take a little bit longer because it comes from China but I swear I feel like buying like 10 of these they're really good it does an awesome job at blending out your foundation and it makes it almost like airbrushed I I've never had a foundation brush this good before so go get you one the next two products I want to talk about are not makeup either they're skincare and they're from the same brand the dr brandt brand i've tried a few of the products from that brand and they're really good they do tend to be a little bit pricey but with skincare i feel like you know you pay for what you get as you guys can tell i 
I show a lot of emotion through my forehead and I have a lot of wrinkles here and then I also had really bad like these lines right here they look bad right now on camera but with these two products I have noticed a major difference especially in my smile lines and I've only been using them for I want to say two or three weeks now um the first one that I use is not like an AM and PM cream and this is the needles no more instant wrinkle relaxing cream now as soon as you put this on you could feel like it freezes up your wrinkles then I have been following up this one with this Needles No More 3D Filler Mask. And this one just came out at Sephora this past December. And I've almost used up a whole sample size. And I have a full size waiting to be used. This stuff, like you could really, that's what I, I love skincare. That you can actually feel it working. Like you get this kind of like tingly frozen sensation in your face. And that's what I get from using these two products. And like I've said... I already see results, but not in my forehead, it's not like insane results, but I know that usually with any type of skincare, it takes a month or a few months to even show up. So I'm really satisfied with these two products and I'm definitely going to continue using them. This next one, I know a lot of people love and a lot of people hate. Um, it is the Benefit Their Real Mascara, and this is a sample size one. Um, this is actually, I only opened this one about a month ago, and it's the first time I've ever tried this mascara. I've had it as a backup for a long time, but because I had so many mascaras to go through, I finally just opened this one up a few months ago, and I absolutely love it. It gives you a really nice natural lash. It's not like better than sex where it's just like va va voom, but this is a great everyday mascara, and once I'm done with like my backups, I'm definitely going to pick up, I prefer the sample size ones because I feel like you get a lot of use out of them and they never dry up. So I would probably pick it up in the sample size again. So here, let me show you the brush. It's a look -a like this and it's got like a little ball at the tip and it's like perfect to get, you know, those little end ones. And I really, really, really like it. Look at my stash, look. Oh, hello. You like it, my stuff? All right. There's only like four more products left, and I really got to hurry up because I got a lot of shit to do at the house. But the other two that I have been loving in January are kind of oldies but goodies, and I don't think I've ever mentioned them like in a favorites picture or anything like that, but I got them in like a sample set. And it is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. This was actually the first bronzer I had ever bought when I was a teenager. And I always used to get the full size. And then as soon as I started getting into makeup, I got all the other ones. And I totally forgot about this one. And I just started using it recently. And I fell back in love with it. It's great for those light days. It's great for dramatic bronzing. It's just so good. It's blendable. And you could pretty much build it up to however dark you want it. Um, I do, did hit pan on this, but it was because of my goddamn nail. It dug into it a little bit, and then I've been kind of working around that to make the pan bigger. So I definitely will pick up the full size as soon as I'm done with this bad boy. And then the other one, which complements that, is the Benefit Dandelion br Blush. And this is also a sample. I pull them out of the little plastic pans because I want to put them in a Z palette. So as soon as I get a Z palette, that's where they're going. Um, this is great for every day. I even wear this to the gym to give my cheeks a little flush of blush. And I really like this one. I probably wouldn't purchase it again because it is a little too light. But it is in my January favorites because I've been using it nonstop. I don't know how well you guys can see this, but I swatched it for you. That is the, the blush. And you see how it's very light. And then that's the uh, Hula bronzer. And it, see, it's a perfect contour. My next favorite is an MBA Cosmetics product. And I just started working with them at the beginning of the year. I don't have an affiliate code, um, but I'm actually thinking about doing it. Um, I just want to try out some more of their stuff before I make that decision but they have been me sending me stuff and I don't think their packaging is the best I mean on some of their products it's really pretty but on the majority of the products as you can see they have this wonky ass sticker but the quality of all the products I've tried so far is amazing this eyeshadow it's a matte eyeshadow in freestone and that's what it looks like I don't know if you could really see but it's a matte 
purple, like a plum purple, and I'll swatch it for you. That's just two swirls. See how much how pigmented it is? Just swatch it out. It does have a little bit of fallout, but just like a lot of the other eyeshadows I've ever used, like the expensive ones, and they're fairly affordable. A lot of their products are on the cheaper side, but some of their products are affordable for sure. The main reason why I've been loving this eyeshadow in the month of January is because I've been trying to pan a palette this year, and because my the palette th that I'm trying to pan has a lot of nude shades, I try to throw in a single eyeshadow here and there, and this one has been my go-to for those days that I wanted just a little bit more color. Yeah. My last favorite for January is a in a palette. It's not the whole entire palette, but I have been using it nonstop. This is what I've been trying to pan in 2016. It's the Coastal Scents Reveal Palette, the original. That's what the inside looks like. And it's also part of my 12 Empties of Christmas, which I'm going to try to do an introduction video to, even though it's already February, but um, to show you guys what I'm trying to use up. Um, this was a great palette. This was one of the first palettes that I gotten when I started my makeup addiction and it was great to begin with like this is a great palette for beginners it's got, it's got a lot of nudes but it's also got a lot of mattes and shimmers that you can play around with um but now that I'm in the game and it it just doesn't cut it for me I have the two and the three two which I'm gonna be panning after this one but I can't bear to throw this away so I am trying to use it up but that's not my favorite this month what is my favorite is this shade it's the as you can tell I use this one up so it's one two three four this fourth shade right here fifth shade whatever you want to call it it's this it's got gray undertones it's it's a nude color but I've been loving using this in my crease with every look it's got like a purpley gray undertone you can't really tell right there. It almost looks like you can contour with it too. But I've just been loving this shade right here. It's matte, which matte are my favorite eyeshadows. And it's just great. So yeah, that was all for my January favorites. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm going to try to post more often. I'm going to try to post an empties here in a bit because tomorrow's recycling day. So I got to get rid of all that trash. But hopefully I can film it before that time comes. So... Hope you guys enjoyed and toodaloo!